What is going on, YouTube? This is Sam from Team Samurai X1 here, and today, guys, I'm coming at you with another Y0 Pro dual commentary. It is going to be a My Deck in Action dual commentary for you guys today, because I know a lot of you guys love My Deck in Action commentaries, where I showcase you guys some of the My Decks in Action when I play, you know, different decks like Dark Lords or things like that. So, you know, for the first matchup, we're going to be facing against Dark Magicians, and I'm going to try to see if I can play, you know, tons of various types of matchups against different decks in uh, today's meta. So hopefully we get some amazing decks that we're able to face again so the first deck that we're facing it's kind of semi-meta in my personal opinion is dark magicians so it's gonna be dark lords versus dark magician and he already has the upper hand right here with of course the circle with the max but i do have the max key for his navigation which is pretty pretty awesome but getting that first turn circle can actually be really really problematic and very very annoying if i don't have any recovery play from uh you know hitting off the eternal souls and things like that so i doubt he has the eternal soul but you know with the amount of surging that he has right now i'm pretty sure he's gonna get an eternal soul to his uh, hand uh, really really fast so yeah, uh, so that's pretty much it. The hand I opened up is not that great. It's Pot of Beauty, Call of the Haunted, uh, Zorado, Maxi, and a Vanity Fiend. The thing that can actually really lock him down right now is if I can drop that Vanity Fiend as fast as possible. So let's go off into banishing some cards for the Zorado. Uh, let's, uh, you know, banishing. Oh, this is perfect. Oh, okay. So I'm going to banish the Amdus because you don't really need it right now. So Because you, you already have trade in. So you're already blessed. Uh, so let's go out with trade in. Okay, that is perfect. So the hand, uh, it's, it's still pretty, pretty bad. I have nothing that I'm able to summon off first turn, so I'm gonna go off into a pot of uh, a cupidity or desires, one of the best cards in the deck. Oh, and this is when we get soul charge coming in right here, and um, let's see if he has a response to my soul charge. Uh, I just really want to get uh, what is it called? Um, what is it? Uh, Vanity's feet on the board. So he doesn't, uh, you know, do anything. So I'm gonna go normal summon this and just, you know, watch him cry. You know, at this point, you set your back rows and then you just pass. Like, like he can't do anything. He has the navigation of the field. He has eternal souls. He cannot consistently like, and and then I win. Like, you literally just scoop to Vanity's Fiend. That's what really, really good about you know, uh, this deck, Dark Lords. If you're able to drop Christy or Vanity's Fiend while they have like a set set feel like this, you basically just win the game. And this deck is, uh, you know, does does his job best by just dropping, you know, your you know, your your stun monsters like Vanity's Fiend and Archer or Christia, and this card will never die. Can always revive, uh, uh, you know, cards like Dark Lords Zerato back from the graveyard and use it as tribute fodder, tribute fodder for Archer or Christia. So that's pretty awesome. So that's pretty much it for our first replay. Let's go off to our second. Right, guys, so we're back with our second duel. Uh, you know what? And and and, and in, in Dark Lords, you always want to go first, in my personal opinion, because you want to lock your opponent down as much as possible. This hand is already looking very, very amazing. This is a live duel commentary, by the way, so I'm just going to do uh, decks by decks to see, you know, uh, what kind of decks I'll be facing with Dark Lords. And a lot of you guys have always asked, Sam, can, can we have some duel videos with your Dark Lords? I want to see some uh, Dark Lords in action and things like that. So here it is. You guys all requested for it, so I am going to do it for you guys. I want to see what, uh, how big of a board that I can get. And, you know, I have cupidity in there, uh, which is really, really awesome. Pot of Desires is actually a very powerful card. A lot of you guys question why I play Potter's Eyes, and the reason being is because it's, 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 and any plus two in this game, no, plus one in this game, it's just very too important not to play. You know, banishing the 10 card cost doesn't really hurt the deck because you're playing so many triple loves in the deck, it doesn't really, really matter. So, I do have Soul Charge, I do have Dark Lord uh, Altar in my hand, or Dark Lord Contact in my hand, so which is pretty awesome. Let's go Contact with Dark Lords, bring out Dark Lord Superbia, and Superbia is gonna revive back Dark Lord Ixtab or Ixchel right here, which is pretty amazing. And then I'm gonna use Ixchel's effect to bait. The really good thing about this deck is that it can, it's able to double surge within the same turn which is really amazing so i'm going to use actual's effect to basically um you know, use banishing his effect and to search off at this point uh, with my current situation and the cards I have in my hand. There's not really, you know, you know a lot of good things to search other than uh, Tezcatl uh, Lil Polka right here. And the reason why you want to search because Tezcatl Tezcat, uh, Lil Polka is because you know if your board gets Regeki or things like that, you can protect your Dark Lord monsters from Regeki and things. So which is pretty pretty amazing. So banishment is just really really good for that. Uh, so I'm gonna get this. So if uh, you know my board were to you know die out, I get to um, basically just protect it. So um, here's my board right here. I can be essentially just tribute these two for this, but it'll be you know absolutely no point of doing that because what I want to do is my, my main focus is to literally stun my opponent. So I'm gonna tribute for Vanity's Fiend, set Call the Haunted, and then just pass. And at this point, just watch my opponent cry. You know the first turn Vanity's Fiend is really really crucial. The only thing I can actually beat this board is either a Dark Hole or a Regeki at this point. Uh, so there's not really much my opponent can do here. 
here. Uh, okay, so you know, he just passed. Nothing he can really do. Okay, now I draw into my banishment, and the amount of draw power that you have in this deck is just super insane. Uh, so of course I'm gonna get the, the X show right here or the X stab for my deck to my hand, and uh, you know I build my deck to be uh, as consistent as possible. That's why I'm also playing Pot of Desires, which is really really amazing. So let's activate this, send it to the graveyard, and then just draw two cards. Okay, I can essentially just normal summon the Tribute on the Vanny's Fiend and try to OTK him, but there's not really a point. Uh, I'm trying to push for damage with uh, Vanny's Fiend and then just basically go off if anything. So I'm going to activate Inkshow's effect uh, to, you know, turn Banishment to the deck. And then Banishment is going to search another card. I can just go into this. Uh, no, I, I, don't, I don't want to. I, I don't want to get rid of my Vanny's Fiend. It's just too good to get rid of um, at this point. So I, I can just... Let's add this. Let's add Rebellion uh, or Falling from the Grace or Dark Lord Rebellion to my hand. So if you were to send anything and just interrupt a lot of his plays, uh, with, uh, of course, the Dark Lord Rebellion. You also got the Twin Twisters right here. Uh, next turn, I'm probably going to go off. Uh, I'm just going to just go full-on Savage Dark Lords on him. Uh, so, yeah. So I'm sorry, guys, if I'm not facing anything too meta. I really hope I face against ABCs or something like that. But uh, I'm just trying to showcase you guys how my deck works and my deck in action. So I don't know what this guy is doing right here. So he's just... I don't know why I didn't put Ixtab into attack mode. That is completely my fault. So I just like to apologize. Oh, so he's playing... Look at that! Infernoite! Like, like it's done. Like, it's GG don't read, man. It's done. Like, you... You're not... He's not winning. He's not winning. 100%. Like, man, this is, this is crazy. You know what? Honestly, should I go Savage on him right now? Um, no. No, man. I can activate this. Send this to Grave. Uh... Yep, attack, and then uh, just basically it, and then just watch your opponent cry. Uh, I have 14 else to Banny's Fiend in my deck. He has 14 else to Banny. How come I can't draw? Because you're not Team Samurai X1. You can't top deck. <laughs> I'm just kidding, man. Um, I didn't mean that. Uh, so uh, uh, you know he has 14 else to Banny's Fiend. I'm uh, pretty sure you know with the cupidity activated or the desires, he should be able to draw an out to Banny's Fiend. So I don't know what the problem here. Okay, so here it is, the Decatron. Uh, yeah, this is, yeah, your outs to Vanity Sphere. Perfect. And I have an out to your Decatron, too. Yeah. Little Decatron. Yep, that's your out, right? Bye bye. That's your out. Do you send your Harmon deck? No problem. I got the Rebellion or Falling from the Grace. And also, that's really, really good because he's gonna send Harmon, like, he already sent Harmon deck to the grave, right? Now I got the X Jab to be able to activate the Falling Grace from the graveyard to bounce back to my deck to pop another card. So your outs to Manny's Fiend isn't really gonna help you, my friend. Uh, so yeah, I'm pretty much blessed. This is this is phenomenal. This is amazing. Uh, loving how the deck works. The deck is really really fun to play. Uh, you know, it's kind of really hyped up right now. So I'm, you know, you, hopefully you guys, yeah, the, the you know the hype dies down. Uh, you know, uh, you know. Whoa, 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 whoa! Did he just left arm offering his entire hand. What the heck? Look at his hand. Look at his whoa. Lawn mowing next door. He's going full on savage with this. Whoa. This is insane. This is insane. Wow. Well, he can't break through Skillet because, um, uh, during the turning side, yeah, yeah, he, he, he can't break through Skillet. There's no way. He's, that's, that's, no. He's, he's not that good. <laughs> Uh, he, he can break through skill on his on 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 shit. I forgot I can't use breakthrough. See look at that. You cannot break through my friend uh, Sorry, man. I'm sorry. <gasps> sorry. I'm sorry, man So you got, I got to take W there. So that's it for our second replay. Let's go off to our uh, third live dual commentary Okay, guys, so let's go off to another YJ Pro dual commentary. So without further ado, let's get started So let's see. Let's hope I'm going first. Nope. I am not going first. You know if, if, if I don't go first uh, you know, it's it sucks, but if I you know if it don't go first and I have Maxi, it's it's, it's amazing. So uh, you know what? Hopefully he doesn't lock me down uh, from doing anything. So, but looking at it, he has six extra deck. I wonder what he's playing. Um, okay, some odd eyes, some pendulum deck. Okay, cool. So we got Dark Magician. We got this. Now we got some some uh, some some dark uh, some what is it? Odd eyes uh, pendulum deck. Let's see what we can do. Okay. Oh man. This board is so easy to beat, like, you know, you just ban these feet and you just pass, and then like, you win, so it's like, it's crazy. Uh, sets two back row, and then just, that's it, that's, that's, that's not bad. Okay, uh, at this point, you go casting, and you want to go superbia, 
uh, because he can just negate this, and then after he gains that, like you, you, you really, really don't have any follow-up play. So you want to go with Superbia because you have a trading target. So, yeah. So let's go with this. Trade and draw two. Oh man, this is this is okay. So let's go into this. Okay, there. Oh my God, am I good? I'm like, oh look, oh look, oh, 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 guys, we're lit, we're in, we're, we're in, we're lit, guys, we're, we're totally lit, uh, okay, so let's go, uh, let's, okay, let's see what we have in group, so we have double superbia, uh, okay, so we're gonna hit two back rows, we got double superbia, uh, and, you know, and then we're gonna end off Manny's Fiend, uh, okay, this is this this is good. So we go this, send this, hit these two. Okay. These back rows are dangerous. Oh my god. Okay. Then we go soul charge. So you hit this and this. Because you're gonna Oh oh wrong oh misplay. Oh Misplay for days, Sam. Um, misplay for days. Now I have to waste this now, to, especially with the superbia. Oh my god. See? Oh my goodness. Gracious, Sam. You gotta take it easy. Um. Oh, okay. This is this is way better. So I go into cipher. This is when it gets lit, man. Cypher, take this. Alright. And I go into this. Right? And then I go into this. And then I set this. And I watch him cry. That's all you do. That's what Cypher is so good. Uh, that's it. I want to see if he talks to he's, he's golden. He's sick. He's too sick, man. He's too cool for Yu-Gi-Oh. If he tops like Regeki, man. That's that's just too insane. Uh, I want to see if he does. Hey, if he has anything. This should be game. Okay, QB, do your thing. He's going to go into, of course, search of Tempest. Uh, you know, I'm always prepared for the Tempest. You got to be prepared for the Tempest. Uh, and then that's it. Pass. Okay, he's just trying to banish the Vandy's Fiend. But, you know, you, 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 he, he has to know I have another one, you know. And also, I got Call of the Haunted, so which unlocks my Superbia uh, for being restricted off my old Vandy. So, oh my goodness. Okay. Tornado. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate that, son. Thank you so much. I love you. I love you. You are amazing for doing that to me. Oh my god. Oh, I, oh, oh no. This, 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 it doesn't stop. Guys, it doesn't stop. Honestly, I'm just gonna search the X tab because I can just send these two to the graveyard to draw two cards. Look at that, man. Like, this this deck requires you not to think at all. And, and you know, it, it, yeah, it, it's to some sort of degree, yes, it does. Uh, but uh, most of the time you don't. So you just go into this. Oh, uh, Superbia. Okay. Then go Superbia. Yes. Uh, go into X Tab. Okay. X Tab is so good. And then you go into X Tab's effect. Oh no, you can't. Oh, I, oh, I got nothing engraved. Okay. Oh, now, now, now I got something engraved. Okay, perfect. Oh, and then I win. And then I just drop the Bandy's Fiend, and then just like. It's amazing. Like this deck is actually pretty sick. So that's pretty much it for our uh, what is it? Our, 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 I believe our third replay. Let's go off to uh, finally one more. Okay, guys. So let's go off to our last and final dual commentary, live dual commentary. So without further ado, let's get started. So the hand that I actually opened up is actually pretty amazing. Going first, like I'm gonna be digging through my deck for a lot of resources. Uh, so you know, you got of course the casting of the Dark Lords to search up. You know your uh, X show right here. X will make me draw a lot of cards, which is really amazing. So you do have the Christian right there. Uh, this deck is gonna be this deck is already fun already, man. You don't understand. So let's go into this. Uh, draw two cards. Uh, oh my god. Okay, this is nice. Go this. Draw more. Dig dig through your deck for all the pieces that you need. Uh, go into this. You know, pot of desires. Draw. Oh, and you have a Vanny's Fiend. Go into this. Oh my god. The options that you have in this deck is just phenomenal. So let's go into this, right? Go into Superbia. Superbia will activate uh, Special Summon, of course, the X Tab. Uh, well, the reason why you go X Tab is because you do have the Soul Charge. You, you dug, you dug through your deck for the Soul Charge, so you don't, uh, yeah, you really need to revive uh, thing off right now because you, if you're able to potentially more Special Summon more cards, you should. Uh, so yeah, so let's see what you're able to come up with. 
So at this point, uh, I want to add this to my hand just so I can case I can protect my board uh, from cards like Dark Hole and Regeki. Uh, so you know, Chris Diaz in that grave. Uh, so I can normal summon these two again, so charge back everything. That'd be really amazing. Uh, or I, or I could have searched up another another level eight, which would have been really really nice. So let's see what I can do. Let's 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 be greedy. There you go. Okay. Uh, so let's banish the Vanny's Fiend. Let's normal summon these two guys right here. Oh, I, I can only special summon Ixtat once per turn, so you guys gotta remember that. Uh, so let's go. Um, yeah, so let's go tribute these two. Uh, revive back. Yeah, I, 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 can, I cannot revive it back. Yeah, yeah, you guys gotta remember that. Uh, because you, only, you can only special summon the Dark Lords once per turn, anyways. So let's see what you can do at this point. You can go Vanny's. Hmm. Let's. I should have searched up the uh, like a Zerato or something. That that would have been phenomenal. So I can make a rank eight to protect my stuff from being destroyed. But you know what? That's me. I'm I'm a, I'm a noob. So um. So let's see what I can do at this point. No level other level eights in the grave. So no having having no other access to another rank eight is just it's just crazy. So um. X tab. No, not really a point. Uh, keep that in hand. So let's go into. Um. Hey, set this. Um, keep this in hand, and then just go. Yeah, there's not, there's not, there's not really a point at all. Like that's it, that's it. That's still pretty good. Um, and you have a Christia that's gonna be revived back, which is really, really amazing. Uh, so, okay, that's fine. That's cool. Uh, okay, that's fine. He book of clips from like. Oh man, ABCs. Yes. Uh, Let's have uh, a good match. Haha. -ha. You know, be, be nice to them so, 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 so they don't scoop, you know? Um, there you go. So they go Gold Gadget. Once they finish their normal summon, like you win. Like that's it. Like you win. Once they finish uh, normal summon, it's done. Like there should be no recovery from this. Okay? You don't, they don't have Buster already. This is like, he's, he's just scoop. Like, I'm predicting the future right now. Oh my god. Oh my god, he's not scooping. I'm so happy. Once I see, like, they don't scoop, like, it just makes me, it makes me feel so happy. Because, you know, like, usually people just scoop to Vanny's lock or, like, you know, the Christia lock. Like, you know, like, I never really have a fun time playing this. Yep, he should be scooping now. There will be there should be no recovery from this. All right, here we go. Uh, let's go into Twin Twisters. Uh, yeah, he's going to scoop right now. Yep. I know, I'm just going to wait for it. Yep, you're scooping, right? Yeah, you're scooping. Pick up, pick, pick up. Oh, oh, great. Yeah. I want like, I want to see if I could make a big board. Okay. Okay. I want to. I, I, I tell people that so so they don't scoop. You know what I mean? So let's see what I can do. Mm, Sam, think, think. Normal summon this by tributing these, these. you go yep yeah and we guys remember that superbia does miss timing because of thing uh, so yeah uh, oh my oh there you go oh my oh should I desires again <laughs> Uh, okay, this is gonna be sick. I go into another X stab. Oh, look at that, guys! I can. Oh, I can make tarantula, man. The difference, the game's difference, right? Something, some... yeah. Um... Yo, guys, <laughs> I'm gonna desires. <laughs> I'm gonna des I'm gonna do it, man. Cause I, like I have game. Like, I, like there's no way like I don't have game on board. So let's see, uh, tribute one, uh, overlay these two for Gustav Max. Yeah, it's, it's game. For, let's go. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, oh. Wee -hee. Okay, let's do this, kids. We got one card left in our deck. Let's see what we can do with this board, son. So let's go into this. Uh, yo, I'm, I'm sick. I'm sick. Let's go, let's go, let's go. That would be 
Yeah. If I lose, I'm the worst player in history of Yu Gi Oh! I won. It's only two. Okay. Holy shit, man. I already normal summon! I'm a fucking noob. I'm a fucking noob. I am such a noob. Oh my god. Holy shit. What did I just do? Oh my god. Guys. I'm a failure. Okay, this, okay, this, this is what we're gonna do, guys. We're gonna go Twin Twister. Okay. We're gonna send... Oh my god. This to the graveyard to pop this. We're gonna go desperately soul charge into this and this. And see if he can win. That's it, son. That's it. We're lit. We are lit. Look at my mistake, guys. Look, I'm, I'm, I'm so excited. Okay, I lose. He has an A in hand, he has a hanger. He's in a book of eclipse me right now, son. He's in a book of eclipse me right now. I have it, I have it, I have a feeling in my gut he's in a book of eclipse me right now. So he has a C and A, two cards in hand, two unknown. Uh, okay, buddy. Okay, buddy. What do you have up in your sleeve, fam? What, what do you have? Battle, battle phase? Oh my god, guys, I have one. Oh, yes! Yes! Okay, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really guys appreciate it. I know that, you know, I was trying to have fun for the last duel, but you guys can understand how powerful Dark Lords can be if you have the right cards in your hand. So thank you guys so much for watching. I know this video took some, uh, took uh, quite some time, but anyways, hope you guys enjoy. This is Sam from Team Sarah Sam signing out. Make sure you guys subscribe for more uh, Why Joe Pro dual commentary, live dual commentary on my deck in action. So this is Sam from Team Sarah Sam signing out. All right, guys, peace. Thank <laughs> you.